is it on? Hello and welcome. Bonjour. Today we're introducing the Forza 300B by Nanite. Nanite reached out to me a little while ago uh, with the offer to test the latest bicolor LED. Now before we get started on the LED, I'd actually like to show you the carry case. This is not something, something I'd always promote or, or share, it's, it is just a carry case. However, this carry case is quite slick, smart. Um, I was traveling to Dubai a couple of weeks back and it looked apart. It looked professional. Um, it's got a double carry strap handle. A sling strap, where is that? Sling strap with branding. And the best part of the bag itself is the fact that it has actually a tripod or light stand strap just on the top here if you can see that. The smooth zip with the blue branding colour, which explains why I've got the paddle tube that you see here on my right set to blue. Firing into the Octo 120 parabolic. I'm going to show you quickly what you actually receive in the bag. So we have the mesh pocket here, which is great for accessories, great for anything you need to see on when you're working fast. Um, we have the Forza 300B itself, lightweight. Weighing in at 2.3 kilograms. Stealthy look. The adapter for AC or DC, that's what's amazing about this light is the fact that you can power it via 14.8 volt batteries or 26 volt battery. Two 14.8 volt batteries. The AC adapter, 220 to 230 volt. The light stand adapter, so the actual unit itself, Attach that to your light stand via the clamp and turn. And then this just clips into here like this. Voila. A reflector, Bowen's S fit, which is great because I have lots of adapters, all fit Bowen's S fit. Now I'm sure a lot of you have Bowen's modifiers. Um, when I was starting out, Pro Photo Early Chrome was not overpriced, it was a bit out of my range. So, originally started with the Bowen's uh, lights, and then, yeah, so the modifiers, F being S fit, or the, the mount being S fit, is incredible for me. Power cable for the light to the unit. And Very small. Compact, versatile, but high power. The light itself, two adjusting, hand, adjusting handles for your desired tilt and angle, which is nice because they actually have a click clack, so you can feel where it locks. Now, someone mentioned that it would be better if it did have just one handle just to adjust the uh, actual tilt. But at least with two handles, you know that it's locked in place, you know it's secure. I'm sure one could actually lock it in place now. See, so that's one loose on this side, one tight on this side, and there's no movement whatsoever. Again, their attention to detail with the branding makes it look professional and smart, expensive. The carbon fiber on the side, we all know carbon fiber is very expensive. So the carbon fiber look makes it look professional. And the one thing about as well, being a photographer, videographer is, um, when you're on set, you're the main person or one of the main per people. And that makes, that brings a lot of eyes on you. So actually having the equipment look professional, people have more faith in you, they believe in you. So that's one thing I'd like to show with this image, you know, with this light, sorry. It is, it looks expensive. Now getting back to the S-Fit mount, 
clear case for protection. So the light is bicolor. What does bicolor mean? The Forza 300B is a COB LED, so it's chip on board. It balances the Kelvin, so you'll have from one end of the color spectrum, um, so you'll have 2,700 Kelvin to 6,500 Kelvin. Close up, we have the rubber protector for a power port here at the back. The yoke itself has the adapter, uh, adapter for the umbrella, umbrella holder. The light itself has vents on the top and on the bottom. This is for airflow. The Forza 300B has 12 settings, which is great for different styles of filming, um, whether you're filming movies or TV or... Um, so we'll just go through the 12 effects that they do offer. We've got a CCT loop where you can change obviously the Kelvin to get your desired output. Um, initial loop flash pulse storm auto storm manual and all these 12 effects have different um, color temperature you can set them at and different speeds. TV. Paparazzi. Candle fire. I'm excited to use this one. Bad bull. It's just a world away from coming from flash photography to developing into a video to then seeing things like this generate. I mean, years ago I used newer LED panels, which again, you could, were by color and they'd get a mix of the cold to the warm, but the effects is something that I've just, just recently come across. And it's so exciting to see the way LED technology is moving forward. Explosion. Well done. There we go, that's all 12.